I'm going to talk a little bit about the qualities of Einstein spelt. Uh, this presentation will be relatively short, and so I'm going to talk in some fairly broad generalities about each of these, although uh, really because these are a number of different species and subspecies, uh, broad generalities are really the most correct way to discuss them, I think. Okay, first, einkorn, uh, the diploid uh, form. Uh, where einkorns are still grown, uh, they are maintained because they are very flavorful. And I have actually tasted some einkorn crackers, and I have to attest they are awesome. Uh, einkorns are suitable for other types of baked products, and as Julie just mentioned, some are good for breads, uh, leavened breads. Uh, in general, einkorn has a higher lipid content than bread wheat. Uh, almost uh, double in some cases, and this might be partly why they are quite so flavorful. Uh, they tend to be high in minerals, uh, but low in some heavy metals like cadmium, uh, which is a benefit. Uh, they tend to be higher in protein and higher in lutein, uh, which is a carotenoid, a vitamin A precursor, and also uh, higher in vitamin E. And actually, our project is specifically going to be looking at einkorns for good bread-making products properties and higher lutein content. Um, einkorns are also usually uh, lower in total phenol, so the antioxidant properties they have tend to be related to carotenoids and vitamin E. Uh, einkorns have the same allergenic proteins as other wheats, but they might be lower in some specific uh, types of gliadins, uh, which are, are part of the larger gluten uh, complex, and uh, they might then be uh, lower or causing lower responses in people who have celiac disease. However, a lot more research is needed and uh, one would not be safe just taking any einkorn and assuming it was safe to eat if you had celiac disease. Okay, emmer is the uh, tetra tetraploid uh, wheat. Uh, it also is maintained because of its excellent flavor profile and also for its nutritional qualities. Uh, in Ethiopia, where it's still grown, uh, it is recommended for children and new mothers uh, because it's uh, renowned for being nutritious. And uh, some emmers are actually used to make products specifically for diabetics in India. And I'll explain a little bit more about that uh, down the line. Um, the gluten in emmer varies from a very low content overall to actually higher than bread wheat. Uh, the bread making properties uh, vary quite a bit, but they do tend to be lower than bread wheat. Uh, and emmers are also missing some of the various gliadin proteins, which may or may not uh, alter the uh, uh, safety for celiac uh, sufferers. It certainly does uh, tend to make the uh, bread baking quality a little bit lower. Uh, emmers tend to be higher in minerals and higher in fiber and they have a lower glycemic index, uh, in part because of the higher fiber, but also because the uh, starches tend to be slower in uh, digestibility, uh, which is, I, I believe, why it is that they make uh, products specifically for diabetics in India with emmers. Uh, emmers often have higher antioxidants overall, but this is because of total phenolics and flavonoids, not carotenoids, which emmers are actually somewhat low in. Uh, Emmers tend to be higher in protein, usually by a couple of percentage points over bread wheat, uh, on average. Uh, they are, however, uh, tend to be higher in phytic acid. Uh, phytic acid is an anti-nutrient which binds minerals, and so depending on the variety, some uh, emmers might actually have lower uh, availability of minerals. Emmers are uh, famous for uh, resistance to many different uh, diseases and pests and have been used uh, for breeding modern wheat for a very long time. Um, and I expect we'll see that continuing. Uh, there are, however, some extra traits which are just beginning to be considered. Uh, some Asian and African emmers are more drought tolerant than uh, bread wheats in general. And some from some locations are also uh, more tolerant to soil salinity, which is a huge problem out here in some parts of the plains and other parts around the world. Emmers also have some other interesting traits. There is a, a dwarf trait that's found in some emmers, which could be used in uh, modern wheats. Uh, the dwarfing trait, as you remember, uh, helps the wheat to stand up and produce high yields uh, when we have higher moisture and higher fertility. And uh, this trait from emmer could also be used. 
Okay, the last one is spelt, the hexaploid. Um, spelt does have gluten and a similar protein content to bread wheat, but uh, reduced uh, bread baking quality. It also is higher in lipids and unsaturated fatty acids in this case. Um, tends to have higher minerals, including iron and zinc, which is very important. Uh, spelt seems to have lower phytic acid than bread wheat in general, so it might well be that these minerals are more uh, available from uh, spelt products. Uh, also, the protein tends to be higher in spelts, and the fiber generally is lower than in bread wheats. Okay, now what I just mentioned again were a lot of generalities and a lot of variation, and so I have this last slide here uh, just to give you an idea of, of why I think this is important. Now, this uh, graph shows uh, over time the levels of iron and zinc in varieties of bread wheat, and the relationships, as you've probably heard, are that the nutrient uh, profile in bread wheat is lower now than it used to be. This statement is absolutely true in general. But if you look at that mass of data on the right, you see that some of the very modern high yielding wheats have just as high or even higher amounts of iron or zinc than some of the ones in the past. This kind of variation is common throughout wheat, and as we look at all these different species, we certainly see variation like that. Some of the Emmer's einkorns and spelts have very high levels of interesting nutrients. Some are not as high. And so it's important that this project and others go forward so that we can identify those varieties that actually have the nutrients and the adaptability that we need in order to make some useful parts of our food system. Um, and I hope you'll check the, uh, the PDF. Uh, I have some references there if you'd like to look those up and read a little bit more in depth about nutrient quality in uh, these interesting wheats.